Hello ladies and gentlemen, then I boy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert any website in the world, how you can convert your own website, your client's website, how you can convert them into mobile app. Now, this is not the one that we created earlier with App Creator 24. You're going to use Android Studio to do everything. And everything is going to be very simple. I'm going to walk you through everything. And at the end of the video, I'm going to make provision for how you can get the code. So ensure you watch every step because every step is very, very important. Do not skip any part because if you skip any part, you may end up watching the video over and over and over again. But when you watch it carefully, once and for all, you will get it. So don't forget to subscribe, ready to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions you can ask, I'm going to walk you through everything. So guys, let's jump right into the video. All right, so the first you are going to do is to actually download Android Studio. If you have to download this, so I'll put the link to where you can download it below. Just click on the link. So when you come here, just click on download Android Studio. Then you can download it to your, to your laptop. Just follow the step-by-step -step process and you could go get it installed. It is very simple. And if you want into any problem in, 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 in installing the Android Studio, you can just go to YouTube and just search for how to install Android Studio. And there are a lot of videos on that. So to save time, this is not really what this video is all about. Just click on Download Studio. When you download your Android Studio and you open it, you will have something okay something very similar to this but you will not get this this one is, i just decided to open up a a an empty activity so, so that you can actually uh so it's not take time when i actually open the new one but i'm going to show you how to get started so now if yours yours you're going to see this um create new project you see create new project so in this create new project ensure that the template you select is phone and tablet then you come down here you will see empty view activities click on that empty view activities this one not the one up here you see empty views activity then click on next clicking on next here yeah, you can see name i'm going to give it your website name let's say for example i want to create my website is gogu for example so i'm going to put gogu so i'm creating for connectnit.com which is a v2 website so you can create for any website of any source any website you can convert any website to app using this original and legit way <laughs> all right so what i do with that the package name leave it the way it is then save save location leave it the way it is then this language make sure you select java select java then minimum sdk you can put it at ap api 24 api 24 then just click on finish when you click on finish it's going to load up your interface just like that but since i've already opened one so i'm not going to click on finish i'm, I'm not going to cancel it so this is the one i've opened so immediately click on finish you have something like this but you have to wait for a few few minutes for it to actually open up it depends on your laptop screens um uh depending on your laptop size so now that we are here there are some things we need to do here yeah, it's very important now my is even still is still loading you can see on activity see it's still getting loading so you have to wait for everything to actually fully um load up for you everything has to just fully load up for you okay now let's just get started as the scene is loading up the first thing you are going to do is to come to your let me just close all these tabs that i open the first thing i will do is come to your manifest when you click on manifest you will see android manifest.xml click on that and this is going to open up to you so in this place you want to give want to give android studio permission to have access to the internet because you know we are converting website so the website must always website are always on the internet so we want to give android studio permission to have access to the website so to do that you just come to your android manifest.sml then just copy this first line of code so i'll show you how you can get this line of code and doing uh, at the end of this video so it's the important you watch this video to the very end please do not skip any part so you don't want into any trouble so this place here after under the found two three in android manifest.sml just paste that particular code so when you paste the code the next thing you're going to do is to come to this activity series but it's still loading so the next one to do is what can I, but since it's still loading you just have to um wait a little bit for it to finish loading but we are basically we are true with everything we need to do in this android manifest for now we are still going to come back here so let me just close this tab so let's see as it's finished loading. you know so since this one is still loading let us continue let us go let us keep the old, that particular step and go to the next one so the next one you can see this import you can see this three dots or click on this three dot then you see import you see the second import that is android.os.bundle at the front click on enter so there can be a space under then you're going to come here you're going to put the next line of code which is going to be this one that is number three now just copy the from the import just copy to this okay i'm not going to cause i want to copy from this import to this place where there's view client content something like that so i'm going to, I'm going to click on okay web view content i'm going to click on that then under this place i'm going to paste it you can see i actually paste it under here i pasted it i pasted it under this place so after the import 
android.wx.bundle. I also click on enter and I paste it here. So this is still loading. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to come to this public class main activities, extend, app, compact activities. You see this bracket at the front. At the front of that bracket, click on enter. So you click on enter. This is going to actually take you to this place here, the next line here. Then you're going to put the next line of code, which is number four. So you see private, you start with private, that's the only thing you copy. So don't copy number five with it. Then just come here and paste that line of code. So I'm going to paste that line of code. When I paste that line of code, then the next one I'm going to do is this. You can see this override. At the front of this override, from this override code, you can see this place where my console is. Just at the front, click on enter. So you can be in that space there. So here I'm going to put the next line of code, which is number five here, starting from this dot, dot, dot. So I'm going to copy it from this place to this place, which is true. Click on copy. Then I'm going to paste it in this under this place as I've done that. So the last thing I'm going to do in this place at this bracket, so there are two brackets here up and down. So you just click from the front line is up, click on enter. So you can have space in the middle. So when you already have space in the middle, you're going to put the line, the last line of code, which is this place from this place, which is public, down to this place. Just copy everything. So, uh, okay, just copy, just copy, not actually mistakenly paste it. So click on copy. So basically, all we are doing is just copy, we are copying, and we are pasting. So you're not, you're not writing any line of code to yourself. So this is what you're going to do in this place. So when you have successfully done this, um, the next thing you are going to, you can see that, let's check our activity series. Okay, it's still loading. Uh, it should not take this long. Okay. Let's continue doing what we are doing here. Okay. Since that is still loading, just come to this main activities.java. You see your bit, use your bitmen here, and that is um, line 26. Just over, over, over it like this, over, over it like this, like this for a little while. So this button is going to open up for you. Just click on import class. So you click on import class, it will turn from red to this particular one here. So, okay, uh -huh. our activity, activity main series has already successfully opened. So let's continue doing what we're doing. So when you come here in this line uh, 24, this is where you're going to put your URL. So I'm going to put my URL, the URL I want to convert to app. So that is connect, um, connect NIG. So connect nig.com dot com dot ng. So this is a website for where you can get um your your data, affordable data. So that's what I, that's the only thing I'm going to do here basically. That's the only thing I'm going to do in this place. So nothing much. Okay. So since we have done this, next thing I'm going to do is come to your activity series here. Then the activity series here, you can go to see this up up area on the right hand side. There are code, speed, and design. Click on code. When you click on code, it's from this test view to down to where the list last arrow is. You have to cut that off. Then from this last one, you list, you see layer. You can see this place that, that there is blue icon there where my mouse is. So from the front of the layer, just cancel, cancel, um, delete, delete, keep deleting. Uh, you did that Android and join, then you leave stuff like that. Then just type relative. So you want to make it to be relative, just put relative. How should be in capsule letters. So when you're done with that, come back here and click on design. Then the design, click on this web, um, the icon, then search for web view. So I'm going to search for web view. I'm going to drag the web view into my interface like this. So when I do with that, come back to code. You can see that I was already full successfully gotten this web hook. So I think on this web hook, just click on enter, put space under. Then I'm going to put the um, number two code, which is this one. Okay, I, I hope you are following me in this video. Please, if you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer you. So I just want to put that. When I put that in, um, basically my uh, my app is getting formed. So the next thing I want to do is to put icon. So to put icon, I'm going to come to our RES drawable. Click on this drawable. Then I'm going to left click and news go to pull up for me like this. Then I'm going to search for them locate image assets so when i click on image assets so this is going to open up for me you can see like this is the size of our icon so i'm going to click on image then on the part here this place where there's parts so i'm going to click on and if not this part this place where there's long thing there's a, there's a sign for folder i'm going to click on that sign that is folder then i'm going to come here to my desktop directory so it's going to take my desktop my logo is actually my desktop that's why i copied my desktop directory so make sure you put a logo at your desktop then you can name it to anything you want to name it to. So this is my logo here. Yeah, I'm going to click on OK. So my logo is going to appear. Now you see, you see that the logo is bigger than, than this. So I'm going to resize it. Just reduce it a little bit like this. So when I've reduced it, you can see layer background. So since my logo is transparent, so for background, layer background here, yeah, I'm going to click on uh, asset type, click on color. Then the color I'm going to select it and click on white. So this become white like this. Click on next, then click on finish. 
So basically, you have, you have successfully converted that particular website to an app that has been converted like that. But the next thing I want to do is to put our, our splash screen. So this makes it to look more like an application. You understand, like a feel of native app to it. Well, with this step, you can convert. What we just did now is for you to convert the website to an app. So it does not mean that an ad will be showing, except if you want ad to show. So this is going to be a clean code, a very clean code. You can actually upload it to your Google Play Store. Okay, now let's put our splash, our, uh, our splash screen. Let's put our screen splash. So what I'm going to do here is uh, basically I've provided the code again. So now I'm going to give you a folder that is going to have this. So I may put it in, I'm going to put it together in zip code. You don't have to unzip it. So when I unzip it, I'm going to do all this. So you click on this readme. I'm going to do this five step. The first step is to create activity splash. This splash here. So I'm going to come here. You can see where is that activity splash. This is up here. Just click on, just um, left click and click on copy. So you just bring, what we're doing here is just copy and paste. So where now, where are we going to copy it to? You can see these resources. Click on it. Then you click on layout. Open the layout. You can see this activity main dot XML. So in the layout, let's click on it. Then click on uh, paste. So I'm going to paste it. Click on OK. So when you click on OK, this is going to load up and other activities like this for you. So basically, I'm looking on split. So when I click on split, I can see the two two things at the right at my side here. So we have welcome to we have this place is an image view. We have another test. We have a progress bar. So but what, what I want to do is that let me first change the background. I want to change this this test to white. So I love purple. So I'm, I'm going to select the purple to be the color to be purple. You can actually do that here. You can see this place where there is um FF back under background FF. So that is the background for this. So you can see this white. When you click on this white, you can actually come around and okay, just see until you see purple. Let me see. Okay, let's see until you get the one you want. Ah, uh, but to make things easy, I'm just going to go to my Google Play here. I'm going to come to my uh, my website here, and I'm going to search for ccodex.com. You can just go to um, your browser and search for any color S code, H E X S code. So I, I like this one, so I'm going to copy this. Go to click on copy, okay, copy this, then come to my Android Studio. So I'm just going to paste it here. With I'm going to copy, uh, make sure I like the hash with it. So this is the type of purple that I want. So I'm going to click on um, this welcome to. So this is the test view. So it's a test. So welcome to, you can change it. If you want to change it to anything. So you can change it, but I'm going to leave it as welcome to. So the next thing, you can change the font. So, so this is where you can change the font. Uh, any font that you want, you can just type it there. But I'm going to leave it the way they are. They want to test the color. So I'm, 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 I'm going to click on this blue. When I click on this blue, I want it to be white. So I'm going to click on this white. So you can actually search for white. It's the same thing. So when you click on it, just come and click outside there. So the same thing I'm going to do to this text here. Now, this text here, I'm just going to, okay, uh, let me increase it from, so the text size is 15. Let me increase it to like 17. Okay. And I'm going to change the text, what is written on the text. I'm going to change it to my tagline. So that is the website tagline. So it's stay, stay connected. Stay connected always. So that will be stay connected always. And that is going to be my, my tagline. So I'm going to put like a exclamation mark. Let me see. So stay connected always. It's not exclamation mark. Okay. Stay connected always. Now, the next thing I want to do is for me to put my logo here, you know, like my icon. So if you know how to put all this, you can actually delete it too. You just want to only put your icon. So everything on this test view, like from this place, you can just delete it away. You go to take away your, your icon or you go to take away this test view or just left click and click on delete. You go to take it if you don't want it. But me, I want it now. This color, uh, I've noticed this one, I'm going to change to white also. So I'm going to tap on it and my test view for that is going to appear here. So I'm going to click on this um, blue, click on white and this becomes white. Okay, now the next thing you have to put my flash. I want to put my flash to put my flash. But if you come to your option here, you will see that the next thing for you to do is to actually add flash screen image into drawable folder. Okay, um, let me say this into drawable folder. So to do that, it is easy. Just have to when, when you click on when you unzip this particular one, I'm going to give to you, you see your splash screen logo. So just name it. 
we name it what we need is just the name just copy the name copy the name then go to your own logo in this case your own logo so this is my own logo here my this one this one here has a background so i'm going to click on a name then name it to what you just copy from that place which is going to be splash screen so when i've done that make sure it's flash underscore screen underscore logo just come here and click on copy so when you copy it you're going to come to your android studio so you're located under drawable so you should be under drawable so you click on so drawable is other resources so you can see the drawable here just click on the drawable then left click and click on paste just paste it so when you paste it see that the logo is going to appear automatically see wash it out out you see the logo is going to appear here okay um it should appear okay probably there's a mistake somewhere um, the logo should appear let me delete this and you do it so okay let's delete okay so uh right so the logo should appear here automatically let me just do that again probably it's from this place here okay and enjoyable okay yep logo should appear so it has appeared so that will just just copy and paste and that is going to appear um the next step we're going to do is for us to create a splash is a splash activities java so uh, the uh, the code is already available just come here you see splash activity java i'm just going to come here and click on copy so then i can copy and come come to my android studio now in this case here you can see java i'm going to click on this java then you are going to see three um, lines, three folder one two three the first one open the first one you're going to see main activity so that's where i'm going to post it click on the com dot example dot connect ig and ig is the first one just left click and click on a bit that's right click sorry not left click, right click and click on paste so maybe go to paste that and click on okay so when i do that now this will what this is the activity this is the activity java for the flash screen so if you want the flash screen to appear for like four seconds change that three thousand to four thousand so it will be get, will be get that so i want it to still be three thousand so i'm going to do that basically that's what we're going to do in this place so the next thing we are going to do here is for us to add flash screen style so in the, this particular one here you come here uh you know i've provided everything for you just right, click it and copy what is inside so this is what is inside you just come to your android studio then you come to your resources here so in your resources here you come to values so when you open the folder of values you see style open the you see team that is folder, folder for team so you see the first team the first team here all you have to do is under the, at the top of these resources so you have to come up here and click on enter so it's going to appear like they just paste what you just copied there paste what you just copied there and click on the second team also you do the same thing so under the style in this place you just paste what you just copied there so when you are through with that the next thing we are going to do here is for us to edit our android manifest okay to do that everything has been done as i've said earlier this is it here just left click um let's right click open it then you copy from these down activities to this up activities or let's say from this up activities to this down activities that's the only thing you're going to copy so i'm going to click on copy so when i click on copy i'm going to okay come back to my android studio here then in this place here this is where our man our android manifest is so i'm just going to um click on this again then from this place where there's activities to this side here where there is um activities i'm just going to cut everything up up from like that place and i'm going to paste what i've copied so since i've pasted that so i'm good to go you can see i'm good to go everything is set basically we are true with the application you are true with the conversion from application from website to app you can see that like, it's very simple just do copy and paste that is it. so you can watch this video over and over again until you finally get it so it's important so do not skip do not skip any part if you have enjoyed this video so far please ensure that you subscribe to my youtube channel like this video share it with your friends and family please share this video like comment please comment okay now we are basically almost true with what we are doing we are true so let me let's check some things out to be sure that we have done the right thing okay uh everything is everything seems to be correct here yeah, everything seems to be correct so now that i've, I've successfully done with, with what we want to do you come up here you see the board build in the build you see generate generate sign bundle click on the generate sign bundle so if you want to put it on google play store this is the one you're going to you know select and click on next but here we're going to select apk because we want to be able to have it on our app on our website on our phones we can share with other people but we want to have the bundle the aab which is android 
app bundle this is the one you're going to upload so you click on next but here i'm going to click on apk i'm going to click on next so in this case here i'm going to create a key store part click on create new so in this key store part here there's a folder icon i'm going to click on the folder icon so i want my uh, you can actually create a folder for it or just leave it the way it is and just type the name but i've already opened a folder for this, this under android app so i'm going to give it the name give it the name of connect and ig then i'm going to click on ok now here i'm going to give it i'm going to put a password so i'm going to type in my password make sure you don't forget the password so i'm going to type it because you type it up to like four times okay um right then type the password for the key again okay and uh, for the confirm it again for the key so when i've done that you can put your validity dates to be like uh let's say let me just put 40 like 40 40 years validity or anything you can type it or leave it as 25 yeah i'm going to type in my name so you're going to type in your name here your own personal name so i'm daniel okay then organization units so i'm going to put there okay i'm going to put dev the developer develop develop you developmental units whatever the organization i'm going to put connect connect in ig okay then my local city yeah let me just put uh, Ikeja. just put Ikeja, which is in lagos then the province here yeah, i'm going to put type in lagos okay Ikeja is in lagos then my state my country code is 234 234 that's nigeria then i'm going to click on okay so when I click on OK, um, just go to come here, click on Remember Password. It's important you type, click on that, then click on Next. So when you click on Next, then you click on Release and click on Create. Then you have to wait for this to actually load. So if there's any mistake, it's going to tell you um, the mistake, but I don't think you'll make any mistake. But just have to wait for it to load. So you under here, you see is Gradu Build Running. You just have to wait for that for a few seconds or a few minutes. It's going to load and it's going to show you your app could enable you to locate your app if you can share to your phone or use the uh device emulator to check it out but i left checking it out on my phone directly so when it's done i just have to locate it then i'm going to move it over to my phone so i have my uh i have my whatsapp connected to my phone here oh it's not connected so i'm going to connect my whatsapp to my phone okay let me just uh, let me do quickly do that I'm going to connect my WhatsApp to my phone. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, still, still, um, getting it done. All right, so. I'm connecting my whatsapp to my phone here so that i can actually just drag and paste it here so you just have to wait i was still waiting so please as you are waiting ensure you subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe like this video share the video with your friends and family and please comment if you have any question please drop your comments please drop your comments it's very important please okay just drop your comment if you have any question i'll be glad to answer you Okay, so this is still still loading. Actually, still getting things done. Okay, uh, so these are the things that is going on. Notification going up and down. So you just have to wait. Basically, just have to wait. So now it has successfully generated. You can see generate signed APK. Then click on locate. So when you click on locate, so we put it on release. So I'm gonna click on release. So this is my application here, my APK application. Now you can't upload this APK application to Google Play. So you need to, you need to click on AAB Android, AAB something like Android app um, bundle. So that is when I showed you earlier. If I click on the APK, so here I'm just rename this. I'm going to click on um, rename. So let me rename it to the name of my website of my app, which is Connect NIG. Then I'm going to click on Enter. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move it to, let me search for my own, my number here on my, was, on my WhatsApp number. Then I'm going to paste it here. So let me just come to my this folder and move it. So I'm going to move it so I can have it directly on my phone. Actually, you can use, you can use your call to send it to your phone. Or if you want to do this, you can actually use your animator. You just 
um, add devices and you're good to go. But I just like this. Me, I prefer to have it like this. So I've already sent to my phone. So guys, I'm going to go to my phone now to check it out. So as I go to my phone to check it out, if you are interested in getting this code, the code, everything I've showed you here, the code, just copy and paste. Everything is 7,000 error. If you're interested in getting it, so message me. I'm going to put the link below. You can come to my DM and message me. Please, when you are coming, know that it's the 7,000 error. There's no reduction. There can, always be, there can only be an increment. So just know that it's 7,000 error. I'm going to get the code. I want me to do it for you, um, or do everything for you. It's going to be 15,000 error. I want to help me to put it on Google Play Store. It's going to, it's going to be 20,000 error. So these are the prices I want to make you to understand. So I'm making it public now. If you are getting the code, doing it by yourself, following the video, it's going to be 7,000 error. And if you want me to do it for you, it's going to be 15,000 error. And if you want me to do it for you and also upload it on Google Play Store, it's going to be 20,000 error. So please, let us understand this perfectly well. So we can see that everything is just basically copy, I paste, I copy, I paste, I copy, I paste. No more, no less. I did not do anything more than... All right, so here I am on my Android phone. I'm going to click on download. So I'm going to click on download this. So before I download it, let me check if I do if I have not done any one before. So let me just uninstall the one that is there before. I'm going to uninstall it so that it's not going to just update it. It's going to install it. So I'm uninstalling that. Just wait a little bit. So let me come back to my WhatsApp here. Then I'm going to click on. I'm going to tap it since it's not on Google Play Store. So you know it has been configured to tell that it's, it is harmful, but it is not harmful. Say it may contain any code. It's not contain any harmful code. Just click on open. So it's going to install. Click on install. Okay. So it's going to. So you. So any notification is being. So you just allow it. It's going to be on this notification. Click on more details and click on install. Anyway. So this is going to install on your smartphone. Then let's click on open. So when you click on open, you can see this. This is screen, the screen flash that we did. Welcome to your logo. Then this just for a few seconds. It's going to open straight to your website. So this is my own website here. So customer can just start to register or login. So when you click on register, it's going to come to your website. Now this will have converted to app. You can see that there's no there's no icon up there, nothing, nothing. Everything is clean, everything is okay, it is beautiful. So you can see the APK, you can, you can share it with your friends and family. And if you want the AEB, you see the same process. You after I've done with the, with the design, you, so when you, when you click on the build, you select AAB, AAB. And so that is AAB that you can actually upload to Google Play Store. So you can give it to person that will upload it for you. They will help you to upload to, upload to Google Play Store. So you can see basically that is how you can convert your 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 app, your website to an app. This is going to be very, a very clean one. You can see very clean and beautiful. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have gotten value in this video, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video with your friends and family. I am Daniel Adeoboye. I love you. So if you want this code, the code is 7,000 error. If you want to do this for you, it's 15,000 error. And if you want to do this for you and also upload it on Google Play Store for you, it is 20,000 error. Thank you so much. I love you. And I wish you success in your businesses. Bye.